Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike, and today again we're looking at the ES futures. Um, I'm just currently looking at my charts right now, guys. Are just getting started here. It is roughly, or oh, currently, 10:03 uh, this morning. So just give me a few seconds here. I'm trying to look at a uh, see what the market's doing right now to see if there was a trade entry here. Um, so I'm just looking at the market. But anyways, yeah. Uh, thanks for everyone tuning in this morning, guys. Today is the 22nd of June. Okay, it is uh, Wednesday morning, and like I said, it's a little bit after 10. I'm just getting started looking at my charts this morning. And, and if you know that, what I do is I um, I normally wait about about 20, 25 minutes after the market opens, kind of let it, you know, volatility to kind of settle down and things kind of kind of get to a, a normal pace in the market. Uh, looks like we did have an opening around this area right here and um, uh, after bouncing off and making a low right here into the overnight session right here at 36.93 uh, okay and then we have a high for today sitting up here this is now the way I market it is, is I'm looking at the um, overnight highs and well I, I'm kind of, I'm using the um, the electronic trading hours pretty much um, and looking at the overnight session as well um, not so much when the actual market actually opens from highs and lows looking at the highs and lows so this is the the uh, from the when the market opened up yesterday evening at six um, the low that was actually made or printed for to me for the session is at 36.93 that's the way I just look at it and uh, 36 nine excuse me 36 67 36 68 for the high for the day but again like I said that's not taking in consideration the, the, the session lows of highs when, when you speak upon session lows and highs we're talking about the market opening at 9 30 uh, Eastern time when the, the New York session opens so but either way um, that's just kind of kind of how I look at it but anyways um, yeah appreciate everyone tuning in this morning um, and following the channel following the video watching the video this morning and I'm sure you're watching it you know because it's posted now so yeah, this is your first time viewing, guys. I'm a price action trader. I pretty much trade uh, the ES uh, futures, you know, five days a week, um, which is the S&P 500. It's a derivative of the S&P major index, the, the S&P 500. So um, price action trade, I, I pretty much use a simple strategy just based around supply and demand. Um, starting off with a top-down approach, looking at my higher time frame, which is a 60 range chart. And then what, if I see price, Either in an area of, of, of uh, supply and demand, you know, I start um, scaling down to my lower time frame to see if I'm going to get some rejection off of, say, the 12 range chart, which is more so my anchor chart that I use um, to see if price is going to start making um, a breaking structure back to the upside. So if we're in an area of demand, I'm looking for price. Area of demand off the higher time frame, the 60 range, and I'm looking for price to start making structure to the upside, meaning making uh, higher highs and higher lows on the 60 range, oh, excuse me, 12 range. And uh, breaking structure, so um, and the, the opposite of that, uh, if, if we're looking at supply. So if we hit an area of supply, I uh, scale down to a 12 range and start looking to see if price is going to start breaking structure to the downside, making lower lows and lower highs, and basically looking for retracement as a or, retracement or a pullback to, to make an entry. So, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much how I trade, guys. Uh, for all those that are interested in joining the Discord, the Discord is up. It's a community that's created just for you know. For the, the channel here at Future Trading with Mike, for all those that are interested in joining, um, just click on the find the link down there in the description portion of the video. This video below, click on it and um, invite yourself to the group. Okay, um, and pretty much only the, the chat form or the the, the ch in the chat room. You know this. Um, you know we have a, a group of fellow like-minded traders that are sharing ideas and thoughts about the market, uh, certain levels. Uh, just kind of you know asking certain questions and other other traders answering questions and um, so it's it's a group for all of us guys I, I chip in and we all talk uh, about certain things throughout the session sometimes even in the overnight hours um, you know so if you have a question about something when we're you know and you join the Discord feel free to, to put it out there in the community as long as it's pertaining to to, to trading and um, you know I'm sure um, someone will have the answer. You know, I don't know everything, and no, no, no one person knows everything. But um, we all are um, slowly learning. We're gradually learning about the markets every set, every day. Even though I've been trading for a period of time, for four, you know, about ten years now, um, I still don't know everything, guys. I'm still learning just as much as uh, uh, everyone else. So we, um, 
that's the thing about that. That's the beauty about um, working towards greatness is uh, always bettering ourselves to become great, and and that comes with um, learning. You know, always continuously learning, whether it's watching a video, uh, packed with good information, or uh, reading a book. And if you're interested in any of the books, guys, uh, or any information pertaining to trading, whether it's you know technical analysis, market structure, price action, you know um, strategies, tips on on how to trade, I got good. There's eight solid books down in the description portion of the video. Ones that I uh, would highly recommend to the group. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a look at the market here and see what we're uh, currently doing. I'm gonna start off at the top down, looking at the 60 range, and um, yeah, we're still moving sideways. Uh, we're trading within yesterday's trading range, if you see here in the 60 range, and uh, price made a low here uh, on the 16th, and we haven't broke that low. So this is support sitting now here, and um, let's see. The push down yeah so um it hasn't broken this low yet so let's see what the market is trying to do okay so we have a high right here uh price push down pull it back make a structure to the downside okay so breaking structure as well breaking support uh pushing to the downside making a low here have a high here so price is not breaking this low so far hasn't taken out this high so we're just moving sideways guys within this leg to the downside so um let's see where is so let me move this line here pull it up push it up here um not sure i mean the price is bouncing right here yeah this is an area of supply sitting right here off the 12 i was hitting 60 range so uh price could uh, potentially um, it could be an opportunity to go short so I'm gonna look you know kind of on 12 range chart and see what we got going on here uh, we see price bounce off that area right here and um, made it push to the downside here so um, the one thing I haven't seen it do so far is even though we're, we're hitting off that area off the 60 off the 60 range it's not really breaking through any structure to the downside so yeah i'm gonna hold off right now and kind of we'll just wait to see what's going to happen yeah price is uh moving uh into this area right here so let's see okay Um, all right, so the market just pushed up, making higher highs and higher lows. It came up here and took out this high here sitting up here now. So, um, which was this high right here. So we're making these higher highs and higher lows, um, as it stands right now. So, um, and it is hitting into this area of resistance you can see here the swing to the downside so but it is making it's been making these higher highs and higher lows so we'll see what happens here okay yeah so we've got a swing to the upside now um so we'll see what the market does what is the market going to do now we'll see okay 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 let's see yeah, so the market was a little volatile at the opening. We had um, some news. Uh, Fed Chair, uh, the uh, Fed Chair uh, Powell uh, speaking this morning at the opening. So the market was kind of, you know, volatile. So got to kind of wait for the pace of the market to slow down. Um, and then we also have at two o'clock, uh, President Biden speaks. And that's pretty much wrapping up the economic news for today. But be mindful of the two o'clock uh, this afternoon. That's two Eastern time, one Central, uh, where there's a a speech announcement or announcement by the president. So we'll see. 
But right now, it looks like the market, the volatility is slowing down just a tad bit here. So um, maybe give us some opportunity. So, but yeah, if it was a normal market and without any type of interruption by any economic news event or speech this morning, you know, it would have been a long entry here you could have taken, but it would have been bouncing off of an area of, uh, right off an area of resistance right here to go long, but you could have went long if you did. I'm, I, I'm not saying, guys, when price pulls back to near resistance that you can't look for an opportunity to go long. Um, but my strategy is I like to see price pull back to an area of um, demand in this case here. But there was an opportunity to go long. Um, and let's see. Was there any more? At um, the market opened up. Let's see. Yeah, they could be a little short right here. Um, market pushed up. Then turn around, turn around to the downside. Uh, could have been, well, yeah, a little short, maybe up in this area right here. Um, let's see. Market broke higher, pull back, broke higher, long right here. Um, trying to see what else. <clears throat> Yeah, it kind of chopped his way to the upside, so not too too much opportunity. But yeah, we've been moving to the upside now. Broke this high right here. Look at the sixty range or the higher time frame. You can see it even clear. So we're we're into this area of resistance now. So be careful. So off the sixty range, so we're in a major area of resistance. Um, but yeah, all right. Yeah, there was definitely a short right here at right at 10 o'clock. Um, let me double check this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right here at 10 o'clock. It was definitely short here. Uh, 9.58, 10 o'clock. It went short here. Um, okay. But it's kind of around the time when the Fed Reserve chair uh, was speaking and I was kind of waiting things out so uh, haven't done anything this morning kind of taking it slow market is moving slow now but let's take a look at the volume for today so far um, where are we at okay yeah still kind of low so but that's typical of the summer of, of summertime uh, that's the kind of story that kind of plays out each summer while volume in the, um, the market kind of, you know, slows down. Okay, market is, uh, let's see what it's doing. Let's see. Um, yeah, there's a short opportunity right here. I didn't take it. Dang it. Let's see if we can get a second. Um, let's see if we can get a second entry. Or a second chance to go short. Just that opportunity. Careful when we're hitting up against an area support right now on 12 range. You can see it here on the four range. So, um, I don't know. Go for a little stab there and see what happens. If it pulls back to that area, I'm not sure if it will. To be honest with you, look at it pushing down. So no, I'm taking that off now. All right, let's see. All right. So maybe price pulls back to, let's see, break this area. Yeah. 
Yeah. Put it back to this area up here, maybe off the 12 range. It'd be short lived, short, a little quick little entry if I can get into it. Yeah, I'm short here. I'll take a quick little short right here. Very quick little short. Okay, quick little short right there. Pull back on the full range. Okay, scalping right here. Um, look at price to push a pull. May pull up a little higher. I'm not sure in the 12 range. We'll see. Just scalping basically on a little pullback. So I'll price breaking, um, taking some structure out on the full range, breaking structure, meaning breaking support, going to the downside on the pullback. I went short right here. Okay. Which that trust me is not much of anything because trade on the full range and you gotta be very quick and know what you're doing in trading on the full range. Just seven ticks right there. So not a lot of. Too much opportunity, like I said. Um, there was a short right here. Uh, possibly, you know, there was a long probably sitting up here, right down here. So it's a couple of entries, but you know, you gotta be careful around news events trading around those uh, time frames when the news events are happening. Let's see. Eh. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. Price breaks this area here. I've been looking for many prices to come back and test this area right up here. But it's got to break. Uh, let's see. Let's see here, hold on one second. Take a look at this again. Hmm. No, I don't like it. Let me take a let me rethink this one. Pay attention to see what the market is doing here. Sure here, not sure. Look at the full range. Let's see if the full range is gonna give me Okay, I'm, I'm short. Ah Yeah, I'm short though. Let's try to scalp this area at the price market. Come on. Let me do this. I know it could pull up. Uh, we're at the VPOC too, so this is very risky trade. Um, Very, very 
whiskey tray. Yeah, I got in too early. Got in way too early. Should have waited. I think I can feel it now, so. Pretty sure they come on down and feel me now. Gotta bounce it off my T my TP. Oh man, look at that. What in the world is the market doing? Come on. Ah. A three fifty. Come on. Give me a little second chance here. There it goes. We take out. Yeah, take out here. Alright. Took on a little risk there. Uh trade around the V pot. Not a good trade. Please do not mimic that trade. <laughs> Yeah, the trade was at the close of this red candle right here on the 12 R, but you don't have too much area really to trade from because uh, you got the low sitting right here off this move to the downside. So. Trading around the VPOC can be very dangerous, guys. Look at me going. I'm doing it again. Just trying to scalp, though. 8425. Going for a quick little scalp here. Come on. Oops. Eighty four. Come on now. Should get filled here. At a scale, I want the contract to cover that position. Playing, um, playing Russian roulette with this market today. Trading around the VPOC, so there we go. Another quick little trade. Trading around the VPOC. So you see how the price likes to move away and quickly move back to the VPOC. So um so I'm up twenty two ticks right now. Oh man. All right, I think I'm gonna stand down right now because we just trading around this crazy point of control. See you here on the daily. Okay. Okay, the market is pretty much just pulling back. Um, take a look at the full range, see what we 
kind of see what the market's doing. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what the market's trying to do here. We got the VPOC right above us, so must be careful. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'm gonna go long here, guys. Come on. Okay, I got filled there on the first contract. Let's go ahead and get filled. Second contract, probably come out through this area up here. Noticing, um, so out the full range, you can see a um, price with your uh, started. Pulling back on the retracement, but I started making um, structure to the downside, meaning it was making these lows and then breaking through these areas of support, meaning making lower lows and lower highs, breaking down through structure, but then it flips around and starts taking structure back out to the upside, taking out, you know, to the left, you can see structure being broken as it's making and forming these higher highs, little small higher highs and higher lows to the upside. So basically I look for a little retracement on a pullback. Uh, seeing price break through this area right here and um, rejected this area and um, notice some rejection right here and went long. Typically, I like to see price push come a little lower below the high volume area, but let's see what we look like if we use a little micro range profile. So it's kind of dead smack in the middle of this little high volume area, but my, my, my long was correct. Taking it back up, like I said, price would come back to this area. Of resistance right here so that was a, a decent trade there um, on that trade had we had 22 ticks uh, picked up 11 ticks right there so I'm up 33 ticks right now okay all right so let's see that was a trade off the full range chart okay because we're not getting too many opportunities off the 12 range say for instance right now so um, if price turns around here, what it's doing, you can see it's forming a little W structure here. But if price turns around, starts breaking structure to the, to the upside, I would be looking for maybe a pullback. So we'll see. All right. So um, price is pulling back, as we can see here. And then we have some area of structure sitting here uh, that is trying to break through on its way back to the upside, looks like. So I'm not sure if it's going to try to form a. You know, swing to the upside here where it made a high here, pull back, making a higher low, and then break higher, making structure, making another high to the upside. I'm not sure. Um, it did break some structure coming down to the downside here. So, broke this area here, moved to the downside. It didn't really come back. It was a few ticks of tests in this zone here. So, I'm not sure if it's going to pull back to around about maybe 89, uh, 90 area. Maybe look for short. I'm not sure. But, um, there was a little scalp long right here, possibly if you could get into it right here. I took a little stab at it right here at 80. Um, I, I was aggressive, guys. I didn't take it. I didn't wait for the candle here to actually close. I saw price breaking into this area structure here and then pull back. And then I went long around by 81. I didn't record that trade because I thought my, um, I thought the uh, recorder was actually recording, but I noticed that it, I had paused it. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's hitting this high volume area now. Let's see if it comes up here and runs up here and tests this area sitting up here now. So uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so right now I'm up uh, just a quick little 30, what I have, 37 ticks right now. So um, I'll show you guys where I'm at right now. I get my trade performance up. It's not working right. Then the trade is kind of giving me a little fit this morning. So 
Yeah, it's not working correct. But anyways, 37 ticks right now. Um, we'll see. Let's get the markets doing. It's probably trading sideways around the VP. Yeah, around the VPOC. I thought so. So look at the full range. So we got going on. Price chopping to the upside here. Let's see. Yeah. This was the short. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this was a little short right here, but you had the VPOC, so I uh, didn't get in that. I'm trying to stay away from the VPOC because it just a few moments ago when I was trading, it was just uh, took took some heat on more heat than I really wanted to take on. Um, so that's what, that's what happens when you start trading around the VPOC. It, it, it it's like a magnet, you know. Um, it's just not a solid area to trade around. Trying to break break above the V pocket we can see here. So it's testing eighty eight right now. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, trying to pay attention to the charts, but you know, messages are coming on the Discord as well, so I'm kind of responding to that as well, guys. So, but we are sitting ab above here, the high volume area. So this could be an opportunity. You know, it could be an area to go short, but you know, if price comes up here around ninety or eighty nine, wherever, um, you got support sitting right below you, so you got to be careful. I have to be careful. I have to be careful. Yeah, there was a long entry right here. When price started breaking higher, trying to break out, take out structure right here on the pullback right here. Um, you could have went long. Uh, if you look at the 12 range, you may have said, oh, that's not a good area. Maybe on the full range. So that was at around 11.22. This area right here, this was what I was talking about right here. This would have been a good opportunity, good area to go long right here. And you could have taken it back up to um, right here, you know, the high right here. So if you got in, close, just like even here, 80 or 80, 81, you could have taken it back up to, you know, 84, picked up two and a half, three points right there. Okay. So price is kind of moving sideways right now. You can see it. It's in a wedge. Uh, for all those that don't really know what a wedge is, uh, price is wedging. It's got a high here, a low here. It's not able to break. It's low to the downside, meaning, you know, breaking or taking out support here or taking out resistance right here. So, okay. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to trade, guys, because it's actually we're going on 1130 right now. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. Got to be careful in this area. Got support right below. Um, there is a level right here, but, um, you know, we got support right below. So and a lot of you guys have asked about this right here. This is what is called a micro or mini volume profile. It's one of the tools or features that is built into, uh, disco trading.com's, um, their range volume profile indicator. Um, they are offering temporary license. The, yes, they they are a um, foreign based company, which is I, I believe they're based out of Russia. But they um, I've been using it for over ten years, and I know the people who they have great indicators, guys. They're a solid company, and um, you know I'm not one way or the other um, frowning upon other countries or individuals or businesses that create things from other countries at all because. You know, global, that's global economics in a sense, you know. I mean, we, we purchase and buy things from other countries, whatever the case is. But um, it just happens to be that, you know, right now, 10 years later, there's an event uh, going on right now across, you know, globally. globally. Okay, I'm going to go for a quick stab here short. 
early on trade. Um, very early on this trade, so, yep. And let's see. Uh, yeah, I should have waited. Should have waited. Price took out this zone now. Uh, not good. Not good, not good. Yep, I should have waited. I'm a little antsy today, so um with my trade, so okay, I'm going to cover this position. Get out of this trade. Um, yeah, I should have waited for the close of the candle. I got in too early. It's way too early, so hopefully we come down here and price pushed up and took out this area right here. So it didn't reject it. It's rejecting up here now. So. Hopefully we can get a little, quick little, um, come on, price could try to push higher now, it could break higher, okay, okay, alright, so, alright, Let's see what happened. Yeah, price broke through this little this little area here, this little level, pushed up, testing this area up here, and I should have waited. So that's what happens when you don't wait, guys. You take on take on heat. You want to wait for the full on rejection. Okay. So what could happen now? Price could. Look at the full range. Full range got me a little mixed up here, so. Um, hmm. Same event, this could be an area to go long, and I'm going for, I'm going for a scalp long. Come on. Ah. Yep, quick little scab, stab long. Price probably may come up here to 92 and a half or 92 and a quarter. Let's see if it does. Little W structure off the full range. There you go, see it? Okay. Uh, rejection right here, that's full on rejection, so I took a little. That little little stab long, okay. That was on a pullback. All right, price pulling back, taking out this area here on its way to the upside. Pullback went long. You can see it on the twelve range two as well. This was the area I just showed you that level that price broke through. This area right here, pull back. You know, if you look at the twelve range, you wouldn't have got into that trade, but on a full range, I did because I saw it on a pullback, okay. And that's all I got for you today, today guys. I hope you guys understand the style of trading and how I trade. I uh, appreciate everyone who's tuned in and watch it, that watches the, um, the the videos daily. Um, like, like I said, I'm a price action trader. I try pretty much I trade pretty much based on retracements, pullbacks, you know, waiting for rejection. And uh, my my um, um, strategy is really just looking. To see if price is going to reject off an area of supply and demand and uh, look for the retracement to take, take, take the, uh, the trade. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you're interested in joining the Discord, guys, where we uh, as a community share ideas about levels, um, areas, or you know possibly where we could take trades from, 
um, you know, it's open open forum or chat room where you can ask questions about certain things. Join the join the other uh, Discord. Links down in the description portion of the video below, and I will see you guys in the next trading video tomorrow or the next session. Take care, be safe, be mindful that there is another news event at two o'clock this afternoon, and I'll see you in the next one.